Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to tackle spring summer 2021 trends and how we can actually shop for these trends in our closets. So of course trends come and go. There's always something new, something hot, something fresh that is being pushed towards us every single season and I really don't mind this because it gives me like a fresh perspective, it makes fashion interesting and cool and I like being able to jazz things up a little bit when I feel like I'm in a rut, I'm dressing the same way all the time. It gives me new ideas and that is always a welcome thing. But lately, of course, we haven't really been able to use the clothes or we haven't been able to utilize all the clothes in our closets and we haven't really been leaving the house. That's one reason. So I thought it would be great to actually shop for these trends for spring summer 2021 in our closet because I'm sure that I'll be able to find some sort of version of the trend that can feel very relevant, very modern, and very now. And even though I know I'll just be wearing these trends to my Zoom meetings, I really don't mind because I did not buy them. They are from my closet. So let me try to attempt to shop my closet right now and show you the latest trends and how I could sort of apply my own twist to it to make it my own personal style but still trying to be relevant and being in the now. So yeah, let's get started guys. So before anything, I wanted to show you guys some trends that I want to look for in my closet. And I think I can honestly tell you if I'll be able to pull off these trends based on what I have in my closet. So the first trend that I wanted to get into is candy color. So usually every spring and summer, this comes right around. It's a trend that has been going on for many years. Uh, sometimes it skips a year or two and then it comes back with a vengeance. And what I mean by candy colors is this. Okay, so this is what came out in Vogue when I search for candy colors. It's more of pastel colors, uh, really yummy colors like pink, blush pink, uh, bubblegum pink, bright pink. I'm gonna try to apply this. I'm gonna see if I have anything pink. I'm not sure if I have anything bubblegum pink because that's really not my style. I'm gonna try to check out what I have to see if I can actually apply this. Let's see. Okay guys, so I was able to find this pink skirt. It's a pink satiny skirt with all these embellishments here. I have never used this skirt. This is from Keepsake the Label and I bought it a few years ago. I think probably three or four years ago and I never used it. And I'm glad that I found something pink though it is a very pale pink. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything that is very like bubblegum pink. I don't have anything like that in my wardrobe, I guess, because I don't like the way it's too flashy and it's so hard to mix and match with the rest of my clothes. So I think I did experiment on that back in my 20s, but now nowhere to be found in my wardrobe. That is how it looks. This is my version of candy colors. And to really add on the pink, I found this jacket, but I'm not sure if it goes with the outfit, so let's see. And yeah, I think this is a nice candy color outfit. Although it's not bubblegum pink, it's very much like the Prada version of candy colors. And it's composed of muted pinks. And just like the Prada outfit that I got inspired from, I've decided to match my candy colored outfit, my pale pink candy colored outfit with this periwinkle blue, which was the same color combination that was used on the runway. It's really so cute together. And I decided to pair it with a white bag. Next up for trends, we have silver pieces. And when I search for silver pieces, this is what came out. 
these are like metallic tones worn from head to toe and it's shimmery it's shiny it can be worn as a suit as you can see here as a dress as um, pieces that you can wear together I'm gonna try to see if I have anything shimmery or bright and let's see if I can try to apply this trend to my personal style and if I can find it in my closet okay so this is the only silver thing that I could find in my closet I got this silver skirt from H&M actually quite recently and it's the only silver thing that I have so I decided to pair it with a white t-shirt this is also from H&M and white shoes this is from Bebza and I got this from Nana Porte so let's see if this comes together and I found another silver thing that I might add but I'm not sure if it's gonna look good okay so I wore these sandals I think this outfit looks really good it's very 90s actually very minimalist and I love the way this looks for the bag I decided to go with this one it's a belt bag and I think this would look good with my outfit to give it a more modern edge. Okay, so I think the snake skin belt bag looks good against the metallic skirt and how simple the white shirt is. And yeah, this is my take on the metallic trend. It's very summery and it suits our tropical weather. What do you guys think? Okay, so I did find this silver jacket. It's from Forever New or Ever New. This is from last season and it still has the price tag on it. I've never worn it because where will I wear it to, right? Let's see if it looks good with this outfit. I think I might have to come up with a different outfit for this because it has like a different uh, color. It has like a different silver color. I'm not sure if that goes. I think I'll have to wear this with like jeans or black pants or something. Let's see. So, yeah, I don't think this works. Here we go. Let's see if it goes together. I think it looks good. It looks very summery, but it's still very trendy. It looks very modern. I think the all white base outfit looks very good against this silver jacket it's a blazer I think a long blazer or a jacket and you actually wear it like this like this so so this is how to wear it and you can wear it open of course this. Okay, next up we have leather. So it says here, forget the blazer this season. The biker jacket is making its comeback in three different versions. A logo print at Chanel Sporty with Bourgeois Twist at Celine and Futuristic and Oversized at Louis Vuitton. So this is what Vogue, French Vogue, is talking about. I'm going to try to see if I actually have a biker jacket here in my other closet where I put all my coats and how to apply it here. We're living in a tropical country and it is very warm right now. So I'm gonna try to see if I can actually apply this uh, and actually wear it at least in my Zoom meeting or if I have to head out for the grocery, maybe. Let's see. Okay, so for the next trend, it is biker jackets. The only leather jacket I have is this one from Mango. I'm not sure if this is a proper biker jacket or if it's a biker jacket that's very now. But let's see. I haven't worn this in ages. I think it works and it looks good enough for spring summer. Again, with an all white outfit just to make it look summery. I'm thinking of wearing it with shorts, but for me, it defeats the purpose of wearing a jacket. Like, why would you wear a jacket if you're wearing shorts? This is the only leather jacket I have, so I don't really have any options. <laughs> So yeah, I guess I would have to make do with it. If I were to add a piece of leather clothing to my outfit, just to be able to follow the trend, 
I guess it would be this one. Okay, so I was changing out of my outfit to go on to the next trend, but I saw this one. This is a skirt from Club Monaco, and it's a knit skirt, and I think it will work well with the jacket. They look so good together, and it doesn't look out of place because it is made of this knit material. I think it looks super cool, and it looks really good for spring, summer. Okay, next trend is minimalism. This is of course a tribute to contemporary tailor-made clothes or designs by legendary Helmut Lang. So that is the iteration or the version of minimalism that Vogue is talking about. We have like dresses with like thin straps that go down to the floor, very simple, elegant designs. Uh, a lot of whites actually, a lot of neutrals and just simple wispy designs, a lot of layering. Let's see if I can try to find these styles from my closet. Okay, so for my 90s look, my 90s minimalism look, I found these pieces in my closet from, these are from Trudy Lazares, and she is a Bacolod based designer, and she makes these amazing linen pieces. So she made this linen halter top that I think is very 90s minimalist, and these linen pants that look so good. It's cropped, so very much with a minimalist look. So of course, to go with a whole minimalist look, I decided to tie my hair. Also, it's getting a bit hot, changing into clothes. So yeah, this is my look. Yeah, I'm going with my Louis Vuitton pochette accessories for this one to complete my 90s minimalist look. And then last but not the least, we have balloon sleeves. So this is a variation on a decidedly popular theme. So fashion continued to play with shoulders and sleeves. Puffy and gathered variations were injected with exaggerated volume. I don't know why, but I'm thinking of Princess Diana's wedding dress. Her wedding dress had like these huge, huge like balloon sleeves and it was such a big trend back then. And now it's back, but with a modern twist. I really love the volume in the shoulder because it just looks strong and powerful. And it's also very pretty at the same time. Like having those really big puffy sleeves beside your face makes your face look a little bit more uh, chiseled and smaller. It's a nice frame to your face. So when you're going on a Zoom meeting and you have like a big puffy sleeve, then it's, it looks good, I guess, because it really frames your face. So I'm gonna try to find something in my closet that is very similar to this, balloon sleeves, and how we can wear it. Okay, and for the last trend, which is balloon sleeves or voluminous sleeves, I have this dress on. I actually got this dress from H&M. I got it this season, but it's in a size XL. This was the last in the rack, and I just found it so cute. I decided to try it on and this part is still tight on me so it works but otherwise if it weren't then I wouldn't get it. I love how voluminous this is. It feels like a nightgown. It's just so comfortable. It's so summery and I really love it. This is so cool. I really love the sleeve. I'm glad that I was able to find these trends in my closet and although it was a bit of a challenge for me I'm glad that I was able to do it uh, it is quite challenging to shop your closet 
especially if you're looking for something very specific like a trend but I'm glad I was able to do it I'm glad that I was able to find alternatives for these trends and yeah that proves that it is possible to shop your closet it made me realize how many pieces I don't really wear on a daily basis it's just there in my closet taking up space but at the same time, I love that there's still a chance for me to wear these because of course trends get recycled and trends come back. I'm glad I was able to shop my closet today. It was really a lot of fun. I hope you had fun too. And as always, please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video.